Hi, this is Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com giving you a look at the Droid Zyboard 4G LTE tablet on Verizon Wireless. This is the 10.1 inch version from Motorola. It runs Android 3.2, has a nice 10.1 inch display, and one of the selling features that we'll cover in a different video is that it has a stylus which allows you to take notes on screen uh, in a better fashion than with your finger. The interface is pretty similar if you've seen Android 3.2 on any tablet. It's pretty much the same. You have notifications down here on the right. Home, apps appear in the upper right. Comes with a collection of standard apps that you get. Let's Golf 2, NFL 12, Madden NFL 12, Blockbuster. Apps that you can't really get rid of. Nice apps that do come with it. Quick Office, Polycom. Uh, you get Motocast, which allows you to go connect to other uh, devices. And so those are some of the built-in apps as well as the different Verizon apps. One of the things that I really do like about this tablet is it really feels like a tablet that you're supposed to take outside. Uh, when I hold the iPad and I take it outside, I'm always concerned about dropping it. We have nice rubberized corners. The back has a really great feel to it. And... It just feels like something that's meant to be carried. When I take this outside, I'm not concerned that I'm going to drop it and break it. Uh, I'm not saying that you should just toss it around, but it feels like a tablet that is made to be carried with you. The power button continues to be an issue on pretty much every Android tablet. For some reason, they like to put it on the sides or on the back. This button here, you have to hit it to wake the device. Problem is, when you pick up the device, it feels about the same this way or this way, or this way. It feels the same in any direction, so you're going to be hunting for this key or this button all the time. You have your volume buttons, which are actually easier to find, so if you find those, you can hit your power button. On the back, we do have a HD webcam with flash, and we have our speakers up here in the corners. Put out decent sound. Uh, use this over the holidays to pump out music in the puppy's room because they couldn't sleep so we turned on some Pandora and it was loud enough to keep them awake and soft enough to lull them to sleep. Really like the audio on this. There is, there is a webcam on the front. Performs okay but again we don't expect a whole lot from front facing webcams. They're just good for the occasional video chat. Performance is pretty good. Um, it has a lot of the apps that I do want but there's still some apps that are missing that I really would like such as Hulu um, we do have Netflix, which is nice. So the selling point here is you get a 4G LTE tablet, fast connection speeds. You're talking 5 to 12 megabits per second down and 2 to 5 megabits per second up. You get a tablet that's built to be carried, has nice corners. Uh, it holds well even in your portrait orientation, which a lot of tablets kind of don't hold so well in that manner. I like it for reading like this. Um, as far as connections go, we have our mini HDMI and our micro USB. And then over here we have a small flap that we can open up. And once inside, you can change your SIM or a micro SD card. That's really all there is for ports except for a headphone jack on the top of the device.